Following a series of solid performances in the build-up to the finals, many tipped the Super Eagles to win. However, that was not the case as the host came from a goal down to secure a 2-1 victory, earning them their third Afghan title following their earlier successes in 1992 and 2015. Captain Correspondent has more. The long-awaited finals of the AFCON 2023 match between Nigeria and Africos that was held on Sunday, 11th February, spurred the Nigerians to watch nationwide. In Abuja, the nation's capital, the youth, with other relevant stakeholders, were gathered to watch the final. However, before the commencement, many expressed their confidence in the Super Eagles. We are here to celebrate victory. Nigeria is going to win by the grace of God. We have started well and it's going to end well by the grace of God. As a matter of fact, I know that Nigerians play better when they are playing big teams than when they are playing smaller teams. So today we are playing one of the biggest teams in Africa by Cote d'Ivoire. And I can assure you that we will bring our A game today. We are going to beat them 2-0 inshallah. Yeah, I expect Nigeria to leave the trophy inshallah. <laughs> Reflecting on what turned out to be a disappointing final, Nigerians became nervous after the match scores rose to 1-2. At the end of the match, the APC National Organizing Secretary, Umar Mohamed, and others applauded the Super Eagles and encouraged more effort. However, this is our destiny, but uh, we need to improve on our effort and our defense. I'm so impressed. I'm proud of my country, but the ending... It's just that maybe it's what uh, God has ordained. If not, it's not what we have expected. But thank God we have qualified to the final. We will not lose hope. I am so disappointed at Super Eagles because this is what not we are expecting. We are expecting them to to like to devote these people because this this was a team that that was packaged from the group stage. Like they they they, they were not supposed to qualify. It understand but they, they package them from the group state to to come out since they are the, the host nation and they package them out and right now they, they are now the ones that are now they're now beaten super eagles i'm so disappointed like i wasn't expecting this and i think they really need to sit up also the national youth chairman said the commitment to explore additional ideas for empowering the youth reflects a broader goal of fostering unity and growth within the nation well, we must commend the team for even coming this far. Uh, they've represented our nation. We're proud of their effort and their exploit. From Osime to many of the other guys who work there, Lukman, the goalkeeper, Wabali, and all the others, they made us proud. And Nigeria is proud of them. Beyond, you know, sport uh, 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 gathering like this, we also hope to bring together different kind of uh, activities to engage uh, young people in Nigeria. Uh, some of them will begin to unveil very soon in the coming weeks. Um, some based on building skills and capacity, some based on social um, uh, social exchange, and all of that, like what we had today. As the curtains fall on these tournaments, the spirit of optimism and determination remains, shaping the path for future successes and endeavors across Nigeria. Zainab Kogun, reporting for Captain TV.